Hi, welcome to the InterAxis YouTube channel, InterAxis.io. Uh, today we're going to move forward with, with a few topics we have last week and actually put them together. We're going to talk about composability um, plus the idea of on and off ramps. So this is an interesting company. Uh, I will call it Sablier, even though um, that, that's the very Americanized, westernized version. This is actually a French word, which I believe is pronounced Sablier, which I found out from talking to Paul, who's the founder of the company, that this is French for hourglass, which is, which is why he knew to that. Paul is actually not French. He's in Romania, um, but he's learning French, uh, of which I'm very jealous. So here's what Sablier is, or, or Sablier is. It is a, a um, real-time finance protocol. And what do I mean by that? Their first use case is in salaries, people who are trying to get paid or companies that are trying to pay their people in cryptocurrency. And he set one of these up for me right away, but it's essentially a smart contract, right? So if I am the uh, employer and I have an, an employee named Ron, okay, and let's say I'm paying Ron uh, 3,000 die per month. Okay. Now, Ron, you know, is earning this money as he's working, um, but the key is he wants to make sure that he doesn't do all this work and then at the end of the month I don't pay him, right? I want to make sure that if Ron up and leaves me mid-month that he hasn't gotten, you know, 3,000 die and he's only done 15 hundred dies worth of work, right? So, so those are the issues. Now, it, it might seem like that's not so much of a problem, but it might be a, a problem now that we have so many companies that have employees all over the world or have contractors all over the world, right? So what, what you can do, in, and what they did, what Paul actually did, is they have this smart contract, right? And this 3,000 die might be deposited right at the beginning of the month. And what happens is, Every day, a little bit more is opened up or unlocked, right? So let, let's say uh, maybe at the end of day one, there's 2850 that hasn't been unlocked yet and 150 that is unlocked. And Ron can choose to move that straight into his connected wallet of, of choice, right? He can choose this 150. And he can choose to do this daily or weekly or, or, or whenever he wants to or on demand, right? He can say, I want, it, I want this to go into my wallet weekly, but if I need to go in and, and choose to uh, move whatever has been opened up directly into my wallet today, I'll do it. This is really cool because what it means is companies can pay in, in cryptocurrency um, and know that it's, it's kind of governed by the smart contract. Eventually, you can probably buy insurance, probably go to Nexus Mutual or something and buy insurance on this. And the company knows that, look, if, if Ron leaves after 15 days and he's taken 1,500 and there's 1,500 left, the company can just take this back. Right, there's a, a I guess a, a grieving process, but but they can go ahead and take the 1500 uh, die back, and Ron doesn't get it. But they can't take it back if if Ron has worked 16 days, they can't take 1500 back. If Ron has worked 20 days, they can't take 1500 back. They can only take back what hasn't been unlocked yet. Um, so it's really cool. The other thing they can do when we start talking about composability, right, is this can also get wrapped into a a compound. Or um, you know potentially like a uh, DYDX or a fulcrum loan potentially, and so this can essentially be earning some income, earning some interest as it's sitting in the smart contract or as it, it goes into Ron's wallet or something. So you can be earning interest on top of your salary in real time, and you can actually sit there and watch this tick tick tick. It took Paul maybe five minutes to set this up for me. Um, now. It, uh, I'll say this, I, I'm doing the video. He didn't actually pay me. This is all done on testnet, so I, I don't want it to seem like I'm doing this because I'm getting paid. This is really cool. And why is this really cool? Because I did a video recently talking about the on and off ramps and how these are a, a major source of uh, a, a sticking point in terms of mass adoption, right? Mass adoption will come when, when we can solve some of the on and off ramps. The fact that I have to go through all this bank issue, KYC, AML, everything, connect my bank account, now, my, now I'm going through the traditional finance realm to get into the traditional finance realm. When I do this, my on ramp now is work. I'm working 
and my work is my on-ramp because I'm getting paid directly in cryptocurrency. I'm already in the decentralized system now. Now, of course, at some point I have to, to create the off-ramp, right? But imagine if the employer is getting paid for their services in DAI, right? Now they've created their, some of their own off-ramp, right? They don't have to go through a bank for all this. They might be getting paid in DAI from someone else and then they're paying their employees and die, and it can, it can all be uh, tracked and, and held within wallets and, and smart contracts and such. Um, so, so this is really cool for Ron, for the employees, it's an on-ramp. Now, I, I can see um, plenty of other use cases for it. They're using the kind of salaried use case. I could see where it could be a contracting use case at some point, where maybe Ron submit, maybe this 3,000 die goes into a, a smart contract when Ron submits that he's done, you know, some level of work on a project, X amount gets moved over to Ron. I have some other use cases. I'll talk to Paul individually about those. I, I don't want to spoil all that uh, yet, but I have a whole bunch of other thoughts on how this can be used be, because um, there's this whole idea of wanting to lock money up in smart contracts um, in, in terms of salary pay for, for some sort of service to be rendered later or to be rendered over time, and this is unlocking it over time. And this is all, you know, of course, based on time. It's not really based on any other, any projects or any other type of oracle. The oracle is the the clock is ticking, right? But this is a really cool application built ba basically by a couple guys, um, and they are launching it. By the time this, by the time you're watching this video, this has already been launched. But I want to talk about it because it's really cool because it's solving one of the on ramp issues. Um, and you have the, the issue of composability, where, where you can potentially have some of this smart contract, uh, the, the money that's in here, go into a, a lending protocol and actually earn interest, right? So um, I wanted to talk about this. I, I actually had the opportunity to have a, a phone call uh, with Paul and see this in action. And I'll put the, the images up where he actually created the smart contract for me one day and the next day he showed me a screenshot that, you know, I, I of the 3,000 die that it started with, 104 had already been released uh, to me that, that I could have taken that day if, if I'd have worked that day. So, again, uh, Sablier, if you're, you know, in, in the U.S., Sablier, if you're, if you're French, means hourglass, uh, dot uh, finance is the website. Uh, check them out. Really cool stuff from them. Uh, hope to have them on a podcast soon. Uh, hopefully you like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, Twitter, at Interaxis8. Uh, hopefully our, our website is, is coming along soon. We're looking, if, if anyone wants some custom projects, custom education, let us know. Um, info at Interaxis.io, and we hope to see you in more videos soon.